Hello, this is the Unicorn LPR here. Or Let's Player, and welcome to uh, more Link to the Past. This is the last time we're gonna see the game. And yeah, here you have the file select of this version. So we're gonna jump into the other game that is featured on this card. The Legend of Zelda, Four Swords. As you can see, it's a multi-pack uh, multiplayer game, so everyone needs the game and it needs to be plugged into uh, the GBA uh, link cables. Basically, all we can see here is the opening, basically. And we're gonna have a look at that. We have arrived. That is the secret blade I spoke of, the Four Sword. Sealed away in Fort Steel is but I can't even freaking read here. Be careful. It's said that the body of the one who touched the blade will be shattered into pieces in his mysterious powers. Legends say that when the mighty Vati attacked, a hero arose from people of destruction. They go on saying that using the sword, the one was as four, and the four combined as one. Let's check the seal, step back a moment. And. <laughs> yeah, I. And yes, as you can see, it's basically the same things as in uh, Wind Waker. Or Finnish Cap, I mean. <laughs> Have you some business with me? So you noticed that the seal was weakening. How rude. Release me. How rude. Release me. Huh? That sounds a great power approaching as I hit myself. But my, what a lovely sketch. Surely you must be a noble maiden. I'm Miss Vati. I'm the great wind mage. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I can't read this. <laughs> in a way, yeah, this intro has Zelda be captured. And as you can see, they use the same things as in uh, Minish Cap. Because this game uh, takes place after Minish Cap. But now, as Link's Link awakens. We have three fairies up here. Open your eyes, <laughs> young hero. The Princess Zelda has been carried off to Vati's palace. Hurry, you must go to her. But you cannot go alone. You have the need of the Four Sword. Draw out the blade. Link turns into four. No matter how much the enemy is, with the power of four you can defeat it. The great fairies are hidden on the path to his palace. <laughs> if the great fairies acknowledge your abilities, they will show you the way. If you're able to gather many rupees along the path to the great fairies, they will acknowledge your courage. Please rescue the princess. And this is all we can see of the Four Swords right now, because this is a game that will never be featured on my channel. Because it's a multiplayer game and I can't record it, because I don't have a link cable and if I use VBA link I can't record of it, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, however, they released a much more playable version called Four Swords Adventures on the Game Boy or GameCube. We could use the GBA uh, GameCube to uh, Game Boy Advance link cables and make and play as, with the Game Boy Advance as controllers, which is the only version of Four Swords that I played. Also, they did have this game for free uh, as an anniversary anniversary version that you could play alone or with friends easier on the 3DS. Certainly, I was never able to get it because I didn't have a 3DS when they released it. But yeah, if you press start, it's gonna skip the intro again. As you can see, linking with the other systems. 
And since we can't do that, that's all we can do. And since I want to show it, at least, I did mention the Palace of the Four Sword. And that palace is a brand new dungeon added to this version, and it's located over here. So you pay him 20 rupees. Actually, only true heroes can enter this place. So, yeah. This guy will only disappear if you've beaten um, four swords here. So, yeah. <laughs> or if you have a non clipping glitch so you can get through him because. Sadly, we can't get past him using the magical cape. As you can see, you need to collect the four sword here. But we can't get past him, so we can't even do this dungeon. But yeah. This is truly all that I can show you, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna turn off... Uh, this here recording and we are going to uh, take a look at um, a trailer that was released with the limited edition of uh, Wind Waker containing a movie uh, about uh, this version of uh, um, Zelda A Link to the Past and Four Swords. So yeah, I'm gonna cut here and uh, we're gonna wa watch that video, so I'll be right back. Okay, so let's watch. So yeah, I will also show the uh, uh, thing they have about Link to the Past here. I gotta say, this is the um, uh, trailer I saw of the game, actually, because I, di I uh, did have the uh, bonus disc. I don't know where it is anymore, but yeah. Yeah, this disc contained a lot of uh, demo things, even uh, I believe F-Zero was there. Yeah, as you can see, it shows you basically this game, and in the background you can hear some differences, and we have four swords. And just like you see, you need the uh, connect, uh, the connection between four Game Boys, and everyone need to have the same card. And basically, it's a four swords. It's a multiplayer game. So basically all there is to that is uh, that uh, Four Swords is a multiplayer game and uh, you connect the uh, Game Advances or Game Advances P. Everyone needs to have the same cart in there and you uh, work together to solve puzzles. I do believe that um, Four Swords Adventures on the game GameCube is way better, and uh, I might cover that in the future, who knows? But yeah, that is truly everything on uh, uh, Link to the Past. So thank you all so much for watching uh, these bonus videos. I will be taking a break, however, and uh, on this break I will not be uh, having any videos come up other than uh, the last two uh, Super Mario Brothers videos just so I can prepare for uh, October which is going to be completely unique from everything else so yeah until then farewell and thank you so much for watching this LP